Welcome to our Sunday service. We are so happy that you decided to join us. Whether you are here in person or watching online, we pray that you will take the time to put aside the distractions of this past week and even the past year and get your focus on Jesus. Stay tuned. And welcome to another Sunday morning church service here at the Biran Church of God International, Ken Cott. I am your moderator, Vivian Brown, and I'm going to be journeying with you throughout this service. So our theme for this morning is saying yes to letting go and letting God. Saying yes to letting go and letting God bless the name of Jesus. And so I want to encourage each and every one of us, even though sometimes we want to be in control, we need to recognize that when we say yes to our Father, to our Savior, that everything seems to just flow very well. So I want to remind us of that this morning, but we're going to be going into our consecration right now. So if you're on YouTube, we welcome you. We welcome you. We recognize that there are so many other platforms that you could visit, but you're sharing with us this morning, and we're very grateful for that. You are Alpha and Omega, and we're going to be doing that one right now. You can be seated for persons who are in the sanctuary. Sister Michelle, can you join me, please? I need a little support here. So we're going to be singing, You are Alpha and Omega. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha.
take it from the top. Yes, you are. You are indeed Alpha and Omega Jesus. Father, we thank you for another day that you have made Jesus. You love us so much, Abba Father, that you saw it fit to wake us up this morning. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Heavenly Father, we will never take it for granted that tomorrow will come for us. And so when it comes, Almighty God, we bow at your feet and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for life. Thank you for the air that we breathe. Thank you for the breath in our lungs this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, that we are here this morning in our right minds to give you glory and honor and praise, Jesus. And as we go throughout this service, God, I pray that you will just tabernacle with us. I pray that as our praises go up, Almighty God, the blessings will come down this morning. I pray that if you are feeling shackled in any way, that those shackles will be broken now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Almighty God, for every single person who is in their assembly and for those who are online even those who are making their way here this morning i pray almighty god that today will be a day like no other that today we will see your blessings that the manifestation of your holy spirit will, will be evident in this place this morning almighty god as we come before you this morning i pray lord that you will give us that peace that passes all understanding Oh, hallelujah. I pray, Almighty God, that if we are troubled, dear Father, that the troubles will be laid aside this morning as we come and bow at your feet. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, to worship you, that's the reason why we live. And as we sing this next song, everybody, I pray that you will be able to just forget about everything that is happening around you, everything that is happening in our lives right now, and just to focus on the reason why we were created and that is to give God worship true worship this morning to worship you I live hallelujah to worship you we all live in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus for this opportunity hallelujah to worship you I live hallelujah thank you Jesus
worship God hallelujah to worship you I live to worship you I live I live to worship you Just gather at the altar as we consecrate our hearts before the Lord individually. Yes. Before the throne of grace this morning, each and every one of us. Thank you, Jesus, for your many mercies. Thank you, Lord, for your grace this morning. Hallelujah. Bless your name this morning, Jesus. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. There is absolutely none like you. There is none that can be compared to you, Lord. 
you are God by yourself. You need no validation, Almighty God. You need no validation because you are the great I am. And we recognize, Almighty God, that there is absolutely nothing that we can do without you. There is no success that we can ever have, no fulfilling success that we can have without you steering the ship, steering the vessel, Almighty God. And so, Jesus, as we stand before you this morning, God, I pray, Almighty Jesus, that you will just bless us. Anoint us afresh one more time as we stand in your midst today. As we continue to look to you, Almighty God, for directions, for strength, and for that peace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to your seats as we continue to give God glory and honor. Remember, our theme is saying yes to letting go and letting God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to be having our intercessor, our sister Sasha Gay, will be making that. And right after her, we will have Sister Carol Grant coming with the scripture reading, which will be taken from Matthew 6, 25 to 27, and Matthew 11, 28 to 30. So wherever you are at, please stand as Sister Sasha prays, and we will agree with her in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just going to do the chorus of that song again, and then I will go into prayer. Hallelujah. And I just invite everyone to just worship God in your own way. And just invite His holy presence to invade your praise. Yes. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we just exalt the name of Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God says, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, almighty God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are thankful this morning, God. Hallelujah. For your goodness. Hallelujah. We are thankful for your grace, Lord God of heaven. Thank you, O oh God, for your mercies that are new every single morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your compassion, Lord, that never fails. Hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord, unto us. Hallelujah. And so we bless your name this morning. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name, Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we acknowledge you, O oh God, as our keeping care. Oh, glory to your name, O oh God. Thank you for your sustenance, Lord. Jesus, thank you for preserving us, O oh God, in this wretched world. Hallelujah, O oh God. Your word declares that our oh, righteousness is like filthy rags before you. Yet here we are, Lord. And it is only because of your grace and your mercy. And so we thank you, Jehovah God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God of heaven, for who you are. Hallelujah. And before we ask of anything, we just want to bless your name. We just want to exalt you, O oh King of Kings. We want to exalt you, O oh Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Great God, we bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. We exalt you, O oh God. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, great God, for this privilege to be in your holy presence, Lord. Hallelujah. For this privilege to ask of you, O oh God, to make our requests known unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thou who knowest, hallelujah. Thou who knowest all our weakness. Thou who knowest all our cares. Hallelujah. God, we come before you as humbly as we know how. Asking of you, O oh God of heaven, to hear us again. Jesus, hallelujah. You see every situation in every individual life this morning. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, whether it be spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, financial, whatever it is. Thou who knowest. All sufficient God, omniscient God. Oh God of heaven, we ask of you to intervene this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, God of heaven, you know what we have need of. And we know that you can supply every single need according to your riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Our Lord, oh God of heaven, you know every tear that has fallen, Lord. You know every heart that is crying out to you. In the name of Jesus, you know every confused mind. You know every doubtful spirit, Lord God of heaven. You know, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so we ask of you, Lord, to hear us, Lord. Hear our moans, hear our groanings, Lord. In the name of Jesus, when our lips cannot be separated Lord we pray that you will hear us and you will answer and you will show us great and mighty things Lord God in the name of Jesus hallelujah oh God you see every marriage oh God that needs to be mended Lord you see the love that is lacking the respect that is lacking the honor that is lacking mighty God in the name of Jesus we ask of you to minister Lord in the name of Jesus you see every child that is crying Lord for help we ask you that you will rescue you said suffer the little children to come unto me and to forbid them not for as such is the kingdom of heaven hear your children as they cry out to you almighty god in the name of jesus hear the fathers hear the mothers lord god hear the abused this morning hear the sick and afflicted this morning lord god in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah hear the bounded this morning oh god Hallelujah, we pray that you set the captives free this morning in the name of Jesus. Every mind that is troubled, Lord, we pray that you will transform in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, every frustrated heart, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, oh God, we lift up Spanish town before you this morning, oh God, oh God, oh God, 
We lift it up to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we pray that you'll bind the strong man of the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. No more debts in the name of Jesus. No more debts in the name of Jesus. No more debts in the name of Jesus. Every plan that is being sought out this morning, we pray that you will lift up a standard, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and that you cancel every plan of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you'll visit every camp where the guns are, Lord God, and we pray that you'll break up their folly ground, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray that every word that has gone, Lord, to say that there will be war, that you will cancel it. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will cancel it, Almighty God. And we pray that your peace will reign. In the name of Jesus, that your peace will reign, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, we pray, O oh God of heaven, that, Lord, you will stalk every trigger in the name of Jesus. God of heaven, that the bullet will not be able to be released in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Almighty God, that you'll minister to every single gunman. In the name of Jesus Christ, remove the scales from their eyes, O God of heaven. Cause them to realize that they're sinking, O God of heaven, in sin deeper and deeper and deeper. Lord, that they're burying themselves in damnation, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your word will reach them somehow by a song, oh God, by a church nearby, by a passerby who is ministering your word. They will hear, Lord, and they will receive in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we lift up the police force before you this morning, Lord. Oh, God of heaven, Jesus, remove the corruption, the greed, Lord God, the self-serving spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help them to remember, oh, God of heaven, what they would have vowed to, Lord, to serve and to protect almighty God in the name of Jesus I pray that you clothe them in integrity Lord God in the name of Jesus clothe them in service almighty God to the people in the name of Jesus clothe them in honesty mighty God in the name of Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And for those who don't want to heed, we pray that you'll just remove them from the force. And that, Lord, you'll bring in those who will honor, who will honor the motto to serve and to protect Almighty God in the name of Jesus. God, we pray, oh God of heaven, for the government who is turning a blind eye, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will awaken them, Lord God, to understand, oh God of heaven, the responsibility that they have, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, minister to the government this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and let your divine and perfect will be done here on earth as it is in heaven in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God in heaven, we need you like never before. And so we ask, oh God, that you just breathe, 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 breathe upon us again, Lord. Breathe upon Jamaica again in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this world again, almighty God, in the name of Jesus. 
and have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Oh, God, I pray that a wind of change will just blow, will just blow, will just blow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wind of change. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God of heaven, we thank you for that revival in Florida on Easter, Lord, where people cried out to you, Lord. I pray that that event, oh God of heaven, will be replicated in the name of Jesus, that people will understand that they need you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that you're coming is nearer than before Lord God and if we don't heed then we will suffer the consequence of eternal damnation Lord God of heaven hear us this morning Lord take charge of this atmosphere Lord take charge of this service let self be slain let flesh be crucified and let your name be glorified oh God in the name of Jesus let every word of our mouths and every meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, have your way, sweet Holy Spirit, as we tell you thanks for what you're doing, for what you are going to do, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you hear. Thank you that you answer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much, Sister Sasha, for making that part. You may be seated, everybody. So we're going to be hearing from Sister Carol Grant with the reading of the scriptures. And then right after her, I'm going to be asking Reverend Forbes just to come with the official welcome. scripture reading will be taken from Matthew 6 and we'll be reading from verses 25 to 27. Therefore I say unto you, take no heed, sorry, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body, the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the hair, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his statue? Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all he who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be unto God. Morning, everyone. I I can't hear you. Um, we have come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, and I thank God that we can come here this morning. If you feel the same way like I do. Let me hear you shout and hallelujah if you feel the same way like I do. Hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah. Give me one more time. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. Life 
is good because we are alive and we can come in the house of the Lord. I am almost sure I see Sister Ivet. So I'm going to ask Sister Vivine to give me the opportunity to make Sister Ivet. Sister Ivet, a lot of respect to you, Sister Ivet. I'm going to give you a chance to say something after I'm through. Um, I know there are a group of persons who have come along with you. I see Sister Nasha and uh, Audrey, right? Sister, oh, Sister Audrey! Oh, gosh. Sister Audrey, you look different today. Oh, I, I, you need to give me the secret, man. <laughs> no, man, don't, don't clap like that, man. We need the real, 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 real. And by the way, almost every Sunday I see Sister Audrey online. Um, great, great, great to have you, Sister Audrey. And I, 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 I don't have the names of all the persons who are here, but those who came with Sister Ivet, you can just stand up, or the group of you down here, you can just stand up, and, 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 and we want to appreciate you. Uh, put your hands together for them behind there. Um, and here and God bless you thanks for coming thanks for being a part of our service this morning those who are online we want to also welcome you to be in the house of the Lord this morning with us and those who are here who have always been here we especially want to welcome you to be in the house of the Lord um, if you if you don't mind I want to use this opportunity this is not a to, to remind us that this evening we'll also be here um, and it's word and tea this evening so we'll be here so make sure you come out and now I want to invite well you know Nasha has been coming all the time a lot of time I want to hear from Nasha and then I want to give Sister Ivette a chance to say something. One of our ardent students on training and development one of our prayer warriors when we are praying Sister Ivette will Great to have you. Sister Nasha, come and say something to the church. And sister, and sister White. Sister White, want you to say something. Glad to have you online as well. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to greet the Holy Spirit who is ahead of my life. I want to greet you, Bridget, in the name of Jesus. It's a privilege to be here this Sunday morning you know, to worship with you guys. Every time I come to town, you know, I always come by because Ken Cut hold a special place in my heart. Before I was even in Birian, I know Pastor Farms because I came to the homework center and he helped me to get a one in my CXC mathematics. So, you know, after going back to the country now and get baptized in Brazil Barbarian, I went to Four Part and I saw Pastor Fab. So after the program, I was like, I didn't know that you're in the Barbarian, you know. So I found out that, you know, it's just a small world. But I'm thankful to God, you know, for keeping me and throughout the training. God has been good. The training is awesome. I'm encouraging everyone online here, join in. It's enlightening. So thank you again for having me. And by the way, Nasha was one of our valedictorian. Um, so she's doing well in the training as well. Sister White, nobody go and shine on or come. Praise the Lord, church. Praise God. This morning I bring you greetings from the entire Berean organization. And a special one from the Port St. Lucie Church in Florida. I am here and I'm happy. It's great to be in the house of God with brethren. I look forward to keep coming, 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 coming. Pastor, you won't get tired of me. Right. There's such a warmth here. You know, you can feel it. And I feel love when I come here. I feel free. I feel that when I raise my hand and say, praise the Lord, I don't see any funny looking all around. So 
Let us hold fast to our mission that we should go Amen. and make disciples. Because that is what God wants from us. And let us love one another with all our heart. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, a lovely woman of God who is an exciting person when it comes to God. Um, I, I, I see, see her online. Sometimes I don't even get to big her up. But trust me, Sister White, we love you. We love you. Over here, we love you bad. Um, Sister Ivet, man. Sister Ivet. You don't have to ask when it comes to Sister Ivet. And by the way, as, as she, before she even learned, you know, she called me and she said, Pastor, I'm going to be here, you know. And I said, Sister Ivet, you can't come to Jamaica and don't come again, cut, you know. And she said, but I said, you cannot come to Jamaica and don't come to Kenka. Because we love you so much. Come around here, Stavet. Stand before the camera and say something. To <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Praise God. I must first um, say, give honor to God, who is the head of my life. Greet our pastor and all the lovely saints here. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm happy to have my brother, Reverend Stevens, here with me. Praise God. And Sister Nasher, we came together. And the children. Praise God. Thank God for all of them. And good to see Sister White. Praise God. I didn't expect to see her, but good to see you, Sister White. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I just want to um, share this chorus and maybe a brief word. Praise God. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. And from his holy hands, healing virtue flowed. He's got the keys to what you need. Death and hell, he will defeat. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. Oh, there's a promise coming down. A dusty road and from his holy hands healing virtue flow he's got the keys to what you need death and hell he will defeat there's a promise coming down your dusty road one more time there is a promise coming down your dusty shout praises unto God. Bless the name of Jesus. Why? Because God has been good to me. Praise God. I know he's been good to you. It tells. It's showing. Praise God. But I can talk about my personal experience. What he has done for me. Bless the name of Jesus. But as the chorus says, there's a promise. It's talking about a promise. And God has left us so many promises. But the part of the chorus that says, death and hell, he will defeat. He will defeat death for you. He will defeat hell for you. Not that he will, he has. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus said, I am he that was dead and lived and behold, I am alive forevermore. Praise God. And because he lives, 
we can live also. Bless the name of Jesus. Because he lives, we are alive today. One writer caught the vision and he said, I serve a risen Savior who is in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I feel his hand of mercy. Praise God. And if we know we have felt his hand of mercy, we know, we know that he's alive. Praise God. I just want to say this last thing while I take my seat. You know, there are many, many, I mean, billions of people who are dead and in the grave. Some are famous. Some very famous kings, queens, you name it, that died and were buried. But their bodies can be exhumed today. But there is a tomb that remains empty. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. And because he lives, because he lives, I am alive. And I have the hope of eternal life. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. The firecracker is in the house this morning. Hallelujah. We thank God for you, Sister Ivette. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be changing our positions in a little bit where the praise team will be coming. But let me just share with us as a reminder of our theme this morning, saying yes to letting go and letting God. And we can say that because he is the first. He is the last. He is the only. He is the head. He is the trinity. He is all-encompassing. He is sufficient, the sufficient one. He is God all by himself. None can compare to him. None can be likened to him. None can even begin to be like him. Every single thing on this earth, every single one of them bows before him. Because at the end of the day, he is God. And he breathed us into existence. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. Through him, things were made. Without him, nothing that exists today would ever exist. May I remind you that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Who is and who was and who is to come. So as we worship this morning, let us recognize that we are worshiping the great I am. The God that does not have a single title. Why? Because he is title in himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God. Let me hear hallelujah. some hallelujah in the hallelujah. house. Hallelujah. Come on, the highest hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Welcome online. Welcome, everybody. Hallelujah. How are you breathing this morning? Hallelujah. Can you move? Oh. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. And so we are inviting. Hallelujah. This is Pentecostal Sunday, okay? Pentecostal Sunday. We're going to put our hands together. We're going to, we're going to clap. And we're going to praise the King of Kings this morning. We want to invite everybody. We are inviting you all to come along. We are having a glorious time. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Let me hear some hallelujah in the house. Come on. Come on. Shout to God. Oh, you cannot tell if 
wagon with the sword try to block up the road. Climbing up the narrow way. He never left me yet. Never left me yet. Jesus Christ never left me yet. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know Jesus Christ. glory Hallelujah. when he and when him see God in all his glory he start to he made a confession he said woe is me for I'm a man of unclean lips and this morning when we cried holy to God let nothing prevent you confess to God if you have you are not walking right with God hallelujah and in Revelation 4 verse 10 says that the elders Worship the king of kings sitting on the throne. They were crying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Just worshiping the king. And so this song is all about worshiping the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy way this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A thousand generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the Lamb. All of God before us who is still 
God. Let me hear you shout a hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, praise team, for that. Sister Yvonne, stay right there. We're going to be collecting the day's offering and tithes, but she's going to be praying for it now and also to pray for our day speaker. So once we have done all of those formalities, we'll be hearing from our speaker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings. Greetings, everybody. Could we have come to that part of our service where it is time to give back to the Lord our God. We would like to take this opportunity to remind you of ways you can sow a creation Christ. Holy, Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy are the yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all praise and all glory because you're worthy, oh God. You're worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. We just bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the offering that will be collected this morning as your people give forth of what you have blessed us with, Lord God. We pray, Father God, that we'll give from a heart of love, from a heart of thanksgiving. Father God, I pray that you continue to bless us and keep us. And for those who may not have to give this morning, we pray, Father God, that you will provide for them that they too will have to give back to you in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bless the offering that will be collected or will be giving back as worship to you this morning. It's not about just putting money in a plate, but we are giving back to you as a sign of worship and honor and glory to your name. We thank you, Lord. We praise you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Father God, I present the woman servant before you. Who, Lord God, is assigned to give the word this morning. I pray, Father God, that you bless her. I pray, Father God, that you keep her. I pray, Father God, that you anoint her afresh this morning. From the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet feet. I pray that you anoint her afresh. I pray, Father God, that the word that should come forth is coming directly from you, O oh God. Empower her right now, Lord. Strengthen her right now, Lord God, and help her to speak. Thus said the Lord, whatever you have rested upon her heart to speak to us. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your woman servant, and we give you all praise. We give you all honor, and we give you all glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have come to that part of our service where it is time to give back to the Lord our God. We would like to take this opportunity to remind you of ways you can sow a seed into our ministry. You can do a transfer to our Scotiabank account, 95818, held at the Halfway Tree Branch. The name on the account is Burian Church of God. Thank you again for your continued support. Stay tuned. We will be back in service shortly. present her to the congregation. Congregation, Sister Rosetta, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is good and all the time God is good. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you felt like you wanted to go a little longer for worship this morning, but I felt that way. <laughs> 
I felt like it was cut abrupt and I was ready to go in. Amen? Hallelujah. But nonetheless, we are in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. Today, uh, I want to, before I go into the word, I want us to read the scripture. John chapter 10 from verse 1 to 28. It sounds long. But when you're reading the word of God, the way it's sweet, it don't fast. Amen? So let's read. It says, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climb up the same other way, the same is a thief and a robber. And he who enters by the door is, is the shepherd of the sheep. And when he bring out his own sheep, he does before them, and the sheep follow them, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used the illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Verse 7 then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who enter, whoever came before me, before me, are thieves and robbers. But the thieves did not hear him. I am the door. If anyone enter by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But the arling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the sheep coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf catches the sheep and scatter them. The arling flees because he's an arling. And does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. And I know my sheep. And are known by as my own. As the father knoweth me. Even so I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have. Which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. As they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock. And one shepherd. Verse 17, therefore my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes this from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This command I've received from my father. Therefore there was a division again among the Jews between because of these saying. And many of them said, he has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, these are not the word of, of who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. And the Jews surrounded him and said to him, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, said, and said, answered them and said, I told you and, I, as, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye do not believe me because you are not of my sheep, as I have said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And verse 28 and last... And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hands. This is a portion of God's holy word. We honor by saying, thanks be to God. Amen. So today I want to briefly talk to us on a topic, my sheep know my voice. Amen. So the Bible was predominantly set in, a, in societies that basically... Uh, have to do with it's an agrarian society, meaning that they do farming. And one of the farming that they do was the farming of animals. They farm sheep. Um, they do other things. They 
create cash, you know, cultivate cash crop and whatever, but they also farm sheep. And um, throughout the Bible, we realize that God common, commonly refers to his people as sheep. Amen? In Psalm 100 verse 3, the Bible tells us that we are the sheep of his pasture. In Psalm 78 13, scripture tells us, um, so we thy people and thy sheep of thy pastor will give thee thanks forever. So there is reference to the people of God being sheep. Amen. Now, when you have a, sh a, 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 um, a shepherd pen or whatever it's called, I think it's called a sheepfold. Amen. So the, the idea is that you have one sheep, you have a pastor, sorry, a shepherd. Think of David. David was a shepherd boy. So you have David, he was a shepherd, walking about with his staff, with his rod. And you, in some cases, you will have a pen, but at least you know that this, this circumference or whatever is the sheepfold for David's sheep. Amen? You will also have another section for somebody else's sheep, so you know you're not going cross cross or align so each sheep belong to one sheepfold amen so you have the shepherd the shepherd guides the shepherd protects the shepherd ensure that there's no wolf coming amen and it's 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 so the shepherd is always watching over the sheep now um when we look through scriptures we realize that while you have the sheep, you also have a threat. You have wolves. Amen? So the wolves will come from time to time to eat up the sheep. To, 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 you know? To, right. To, to eat the sheep. Amen? And um, the shepherd would also have what you call, um, I think he's called a sheep dog, which is a dog that, that he walks with. To help, to protect. And at night, they would parade. So when the shepherds sleep, you'd have the sheep that are going about parading to ensure that no wolves are coming as threat to threaten the, the, the sheep in the sheepfold. Now, when we look, um, the Bible speaking about the church as a sheepfold. Um, we we'll look, for example, here at Berian, we are regarded as a sheepfold. So... In the eyes of God, I don't think God that goes to Berean Church of God or Pentecostal down the road. Him just see it as a sheep. For he's talking about his shepherd and his sheep. Amen. Now there are different types of sheep. And you would understand because people have varying personalities. So there are different types of sheep. And um, from my research, we have about five different types of sheep. You have the solitary sheep, that is the one that don't want nobody trouble them, them just stay by themselves. Just um, me in my own my world alone. You don't, you don't, you don't, you stay away from people. Amen. Some in some cases they have indifference and all of that, but them just me, myself, and I, and they don't take part, they don't business with what's going on. Then you have the hermit sheep. Now the hermit sheep is the one that stays away um, from the shepherd. Especially because they don't want to be shared. Now, the shepherd, one of the responsibilities of the shepherd is to shear the sheep. Now, if you, if you know how a sheep look, they always have this whole heap of fur for things all over them. And the shepherd have to shear the sheep. Otherwise, you'll realize that... Um, the eyes is going to cover their eyes and they can't see. And then they, you, you see sometimes when you go look online, you see some sheep, them look very fat. It's not fat, them fat, you know. It's the, it's the wool, right? That's the word, the wool that, that needs to be shared from off them and need to, you know, cut down. I don't know if people have, yeah, people, I think some people have poodle dog. Is it poodle? Yeah, the poodle dog. They, are, they, they have that same thing. They have to keep on. Sharing them, otherwise you're going to see those. You can't even see the eyes, and then we buck them to and all kind of things. So the hermit sheep don't they don't want to be shared. They don't want the shepherd to come and catch them and share them, so they stay away, right? And um, then you have the wandering sheep. That is the one that run from sheepfold to sheepfold, amen. And never contented with the things that is happening in their local church. They're always moving faster than God. They compare leadership, they compare pastors, 
dispute discontent among church members and all kind of riffraff and, you know, going on and on. Then you have the Judas sheep. Now, the Judas sheep, as the name suggests, is the one that betrays. Betrays the, the, the musician, betrays the pastor, Kerry Gobrinkum. He said, she said on the phone, carrying story, news all over the place, right? So you have the Judas sheep. And then you have the, the, the other one is a contented sheep. Now, as the name say, suggests, contented, a sheep that is contented, just they remain, they, they, they're always in agreement, or work, not necessarily always in agreement, but working alongside the pastor, the, the shepherd, um, for the goodness of the church. Now, the aim of the, the sheep, the shepherd, must always be to get every sheep to be contented. Amen? So whether the sheep is a Judah sheep, a wandering sheep, a hermit sheep, or a solitary sheep, the job of the pastor, the job of the shepherd is always to get the, the sheep in a state of contentment. Amen? Amen? So, we are not about casting out anybody. If you say, yeah, man, she want you that sheep. Yeah, man, what hermit sheep? You're not pointing fingers. No, we are not about that. Amen? So, the aim of the pastor is always to get the sheep to a state of contentment. Amen? Now, believe you me, that is a very, very, very difficult task to perform. Amen? Very, very, very difficult because especially um, people who are anointed, um, people who are anointed give the most trouble in church because they always tend to think that, oh, I know more than the pastor. I can do it. You know, you're not submitting to authority. Amen? So, so we have those challenges. But on the other hand, based on what we look on in scripture, what we don't want because we know that the threat, the, sh the wolf comes as a threat to eat up the sheep. But scripture tells us that we have wolves comes dressed as sheep. Amen? So, there, so there, there has to be that distinction between the wolf that is out there and the wolf that is in the sheepfold. But inwardly they are ravening wolves. Now, um. The Bible tells us that the, 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 um, the shepherd, the responsibility of the shepherd, you talk about the 90 and 9. Amen? My mother used to sing that song, you know, there were 90 and 9 that safely in the shepherd of the fold, but one was out on a hill away, something like that, far from the, from the gate for, right? Something like that. But then the shepherd left the 90 and 9 in search for that one. Amen? So whether it is uh, the wandering sheep that gone away, hey, go for him and pull him back into the sheepfold. Because Jesus didn't give any characteristics to say. He went and, it did, no, it had to be a wandering sheep that wander away. Amen? I wonder, wonder, I wonder what mover. But a jack um, sheep fool. Me hear nice over there, you know. Um, I wonder what they might do. Look at them and get some different type of grass or different type of, you know, and it spikes your curiosity. So the responsibility of the, of the shepherd, go for that one. That one belongs to your sheep fold. Amen? Question is, how many of our members, we, we don't see them for some time, and we're wondering where they are, it is our responsibility to go for them and to bring them back into the sheepfold. Amen? That's our responsibility. Now, um, when we look further in Scripture, the Bible tells us that... Um, that, okay, in 1 Corinthians 4, verse 15, I think we kind of understand the analogy now between the, the church and the, the sheep. Right, so the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 4, 15, it says, For though he might have 10,000 instructors in Christ, 
yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I've begotten you of the gospel. So it is okay to listen to somebody else. It's okay to have a mentor, but you have one father. Amen? Amen? So in the same analogy, Pastor Forbes is not stopping you from listening to the sermon of another pastor, another preacher, but you have one pastor. Amen? At the end of the day, when Jesus comes and he said, Pastor Forbes, where are the souls? Where are the people that have entrusted? I have made you a steward. Where are the people? Amen? He has to give an account. So you, you kind of see, because, you know, one of the things that we don't understand in church is that there are principles to the kingdom, and this is one of them. Amen? So in looking at the scripture, so uh, we, so you, it's okay. It's okay to listen, but you, at the end of the day, you have one pastor that you submit to. Amen? So um, in looking further at now the, the wolf, the wolf within that we want to get rid of. The wolves, because the Bible says, let me find back the scripture. The Bible says that in Matthew 5, in Matthew 7, 15, it says, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Amen. This, this, this was written years ago, many, many years ago, and Jesus was saying, but we are false prophets. So people would say, no, man, the false prophet, I'm not come yet. But oh my God, look, it says, beware. And at that time, the Bible was suggesting that there were false prophets in operation. So the issue is not now necessary. The biggest threat is not what is outside, but what is within. Amen. Because it's out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks, right? So when so anything that is within us, that is what defiles. And just like how we have, um, you know, people can we can be defiled by what is within us. In the same way, the church is defiled by what is within. And whether we believe it or not, we have false prophets in churches. We have people who are inward, they are ravening wolves. Their only intention is to destroy. Their only intention is to scatter the flock. Their only intention is to spew hatred. The only intention is to cause disruption to what God has planned for the, the, for the church or to what God has planned for his people. So how do we identify the ravening wolves? Now, we identify ravening wolves by what comes out of them, their character. It is the character of a person that determines what they are. The Bible says that by your fruits you shall be known. It doesn't say by your preaching. You see me here, I preach, but you don't know what happens in my private life. You don't know if what I practice is what I preach. You don't know if when you go to my workplace, you'll get a different testimony about me than who I am at church. You don't know if, I go, if you go and talk to one of my neighbors, you'll hear something different about me. Than what, than what I project myself to be at church or at work. It is our character that determines who we really are. And today I want to call us into question to examine the characters among us. Examine the characters. We are Bereans. We are scripture searchers. We are to match everything against the word of God. You know, today, many people will come and they will say, the Lord said. But believe you me, there are many lords and not all lords is Lord Jesus. Amen? So much what is happening, watch, much what people are saying, much what they are saying with the word of God. For example, if somebody said that I am the only true prophet that there is and nobody else can hear or look, go to any other church who won't hear this. Believe you me, you know that is false. Reason being, because the Bible tells us when, when I think it was um, 
when that man there in scripture, when, when he thought that he was the only prophet that was alive, God said, listen, be quiet because I have, ha I have a remnant that you do not know about. So it's the same thing here. There is nobody that can say that they know everything or everything revolves around them. Amen. So you match what people say with the word of God and always don't, don't, don't leave your brains at home because God gives us a brain to think. Amen. So you match what is in the word of God with what people are saying. Now we go to another dimension. Not only do we need to know and we need to be guided by our pastors, what we do, we, need, we also need to understand the voice of God for ourselves. Amen? Now how do we understand the voice of God? Because God is speaking to everyone, every day, in so many ways. Now if God spoke to a donkey... A donkey that had no soul. Imagine you that he went and died on the cross for. Amen. Now, I say this to say that we are not called to contract out our prayer requests and our needs to other people. You don't want to bombard the pastor. Everything, your head hurting, and you run, pastor, pastor, my head hurt me. Pray for me. The pastor have a family. He has his wife. He has his grandchildren. Children, no grandchildren, right? So we need to be at that place where we can hear the voice of God for ourselves. Amen. No, um, I've, you know, many years, you know, I've been a Christian, and I, but there's one thing I can say that I could not, for many years, I couldn't understand and know the voice of God. I know God was speaking, but I just couldn't understand and know the voice. And then as a result of that, you would go to this sister, go to this brother, and you say, you know, help me this. And then after a while, you feel like you don't, you, you feel how do I put it? You feel like bound. You feel like you, 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 you're, um, you're insufficient because you feel like you always have to, to, to rely. And that's a very dangerous place to be. Amen? So I've done some research and I've gone through the scriptures and I realize that there are different ways that we can know the voice of God. Amen? I think my mic. Amen? Yeah, so there, there are different ways that we can know the voice of God. We know the voice of God primarily through the word of God. Amen? So as we said before, we test things against scripture. Amen? So for example, when Adam was, when Eve was tested in the garden, when the snake came and said, um, Eve, you shall not surely die. Amen? You shall not surely die. All God wants is for you to, he doesn't want you to have knowledge. I don't know if you, I saw one in a way. I'm just trying to rephrase those stories that I see my son watching. When the, when the, the serpent talking to Eve. No, if she had looked back in scripture and said, but it looked back at what God said, the word of God actually. And said, but God said, if I, if I touch this thing, I shall die. If she had matched back and, and said, you know what? But the scripture says this. Amen. You used back that. The script, if you notice when Jesus was, was talking to Satan, when he might try to tempt him, what did he say? It is written. Amen. So it is the word of God. And the, what the Bible says that thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. So it is the word of God that is in you. You see, and even Isaiah, it says that I feel like fire shut up in my bones. Amen. So in order for us to understand the voice of God, the word of God have to be within us. Amen. And that comes by daily. What the, in, in, in the book of, I think it was Exodus, it says, write these tablets upon your heart. Meditate upon the word of God day and night. Day and night. And believe you me, if you think I'm joking, spend one week for a test. I 
and just play the scriptures in your car. Just play the scriptures throughout the, the house uh, or, you know, when you're going to your bed and see if it don't make a difference. Amen? And then you'll realize the next thing, how you hear the voice of God. And what primarily one of the most important is through an inner witness. Amen? There's just this thing. It's like a still small voice. You can't place it, but you know so you hear it. Amen? You know so you hear it. And it, if you follow, and then, but the thing is that if you are bundled with noise, when I say noise, I'm not talking about in a physical space. If you are bundled with noise of doubt, confusion, and all that, you're not going here. It's at that place when you are at rest with God. You begin to hear the voice of God. Amen? And God is, he, God is calling on us. I don't know many of us can say today that we hear. We know we're at the place where we hear the voice of God. But that is elementary. And reason why that is elementary. If, if I have to, if I want to talk to Caleb. And every time I want to talk to Caleb, I have to call to the country to say, Mommy, you know, I want to talk to Caleb, but Caleb, Caleb, and that, um, and he used to talk, tell Caleb that I want, I want him to get his, he should come to the kitchen to get his breakfast. Imagine. When I can say, Caleb, come for your breakfast. Amen. So God wants us to be at that place where we can hear his voice. Amen. But in order for us to do that, the next element is that we have to build a relationship with God. Amen. And these things that we do that I'm saying, these are what build your relationship with God. Now, my father is a farmer. Amen. And he has some cows. Now, if my father, when he, whenever I go to look for his cows, and what, once the cow them hear him voice, them just start stroll, moo, coming. I'm talking something literal. This is what happened. Once they hear his voice, if he's, even if he's coming from afar, and they hear him, them start move in his direction. Amen? That's because what? There is a relationship that he has with his animals. If my mother saw something happen to my father, my, my father can't go look for the cow, and my mother go there now say, she a call cow. She could have called cow from now till day he now come. The cow them now come. She will have to carry the cow to, the, to get the water, bring the water to them. Amen? That's how it is. So there has to be a relationship. So God said, he says that my sheep know my voice. God wants to be us to be at that place like that cow and my father that will know that that's the voice of God. And I'm moving in that direction to him. Amen. God bless you. Um, I hope the nuggets that I've shared with you have been helpful. And um, I trust that the Lord will help us to be in that place where we will constantly hear his voice. A place where we will be contented sheep. And a place where even though the sheep, they may have wandered, they may have been hermit, they may have been something else, we will go for them and bring them back into the sheepfold. We're not leaving no sheep behind, but at the same time, we don't want a wolf. So we must do everything that is that is in our power to identify the wolves by their character and spew them out of our midst. And we must also ensure that we listen to the voice of the shepherd because the shepherd will know when the wolf externally is coming to say, hey, run, run for cover. Amen. God bless you. So I just lose my job. Um, um, everybody can agree with me that Rosetta getting better and better and better. Uh, um, and it, it's, I, I, I just always look on sheep as sheep, but Rosetta just explained that you have contented sheep. You have what? 
solitary sheep. You have herb it. You have wandering sheep. You have Judah sheep. <laughs> there is something significant about sheep. And that is important that we understand that as sheep, we are always vulnerable. We are always in, at, at a dangerous position. Because sheep are not like goats. Sheep tend to be more tender and, and sometimes not even realize what I want. They need somebody to under, direct them and tell them and so on. Because, you know, like some of us, we see a person and them sound very good and nice. Think about Kevin, Kevin Smith. In a normal life, talk, talk truth, in a normal life, if you take a knife and give somebody and say, cut them through it, they're not going to do it. No. Kevin Smith must have had some amount of influence that he, he could tell a man, cut the sister, and so much influence that the sister would stand up and wait for the cut. So, you see how dangerous it is when we walk out of this will of the Lord? And I know enough of you going to say that the woman fool. But when you are in a, a space of, of possessiveness, think about it. You will do anything. When, when you come under the, 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 the umbrella of, 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 the, uh, of, of deceit and, and, and deception, it's like you will do anything because the, the mind is a very powerful tool. That's why Jesus said, let this mind be in you, which was also in what? Christ Jesus, that you walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Because God knows that anytime. Think about Eve, and, and she refers to it. Eve was at a position where the enemy controls her mind. And though he used but the scripture, but he puts in nothing in the same scripture, you know? I'm supposed to say, I'm talk fast, though. You shall not surely die. All she hears is, the surely die. Uh, not naturally die. But, and, and she reflecting on what God says. But she's not re realizing that the devil is trying to nut her up. So we, I am making the point because sometimes... I've heard Christians, don't have a church here better than the church here. It better me go over so. And I, by experience, I have seen that even at this church, people leave here. And before you know it, they're going to Jericho. Then they're going to Jerusalem. Then they're going to Africa. Then they're going to U.S. Trying to find that place of comfort. Stay. Remember, no pastor, no leader is perfect. But God is perfect. That's the important thing. You are not serving your pastor. And by the way, I've always said to you that I am a man of human element and I'm not perfect. So I don't want anybody to um, um, put me on any pedestal um, so that if me go say something where you never think, say me should I should have said one day, then you start having me up for 10 years and 20 years and remind me every day of how me did say this and say that. I don't want that. Sister... Um, Mitchell should be traveling soon, so I want to pray with her. Um, I'm going to invite her up here. I'm also going to invite anybody who wants to be prayed for to come um, because this word is a, a word of power. It's a word of power. Rosetta, God be praised. Oh, Angie traveling? So, oh, me and my family, I'm in a know. Anyway, I'm just a trouble here. Rosh, um, um, Rosh are you traveling to? Oh, oh, oh. Just, just, just trying to, <laughs> just trying to find out. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I, I realize what is happening in Spanish town. So you have to travel, go back to. Her. <laughs> but, but, God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. We pray and God delivers. We pray and God stops the words. I'm going to be praying for those who are going to be traveling first. Father, 
for Sister Angie and Sister Mitchell, who is going to be taking their flight to another country. Lord, on, on land, in the air, I pray for divine protection, God. I pray, God, that you'll keep them from every incident, every accident, every form of situation that the enemy would conjure up. Lord God, I bind them in the name of Jesus. I cover them under the blood of Jesus, and I declare victory for them. I pray, God, that they will go safely and come back safely, that no, nothing untowards will come upon them, but that they will be under your umbrella. Provide for them while they are away, God. Protect them while they are away, Lord God. Give your promises to them while they are away, Lord God. Oh, God and God, I pray that wherever they go, their praises will be as you would have it, that others will see you and glorify you through their lives. Father, we look to you on their behalf. Keep them, guide them, and protect them, and shield them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for Brother Baker right now. God Almighty, we do not know what the enemy is trying to do, but we bind him in the name of Jesus. We cover him under the blood in the name of Jesus. We pray that every outside force and source and everything that the enemy would, would you try to use against him, we pray against it in the name of Jesus. We pray that he will be a man of valor, a man of power, a man of authority, that he will speak, thus saith the Lord, that he will walk in your pathway, that he will be covered by the, you in the name of Jesus. We know that young men, you said, I call upon you because you are strong. And Father, the enemy, oh God, are trying to weaken the process and the progress of the young men. But I bind the enemy right now, God. And I declare God covering over Baker's life. Shadow him. Shield him. Shelter him. Oh, God Almighty. Let the Spirit of God be upon him. Lord, financially, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. Be with him, I pray, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray for Sister Reed right now. Whatever she's going through at this time, whatever situation she's bringing to you, I pray for her, God. I pray for a special touch on her life, on her mind, on her spirit, on her thought. Lord God, I pray for covering for her, God. I release power over her situation right now, God, in the name of Jesus. I declare, Lord God, that wherever she walks, wherever she goes, whatever she's doing, that you will cover her, that you will shield her. Manifest your presence over her life, God. Deliver her from every pang, power, presence of the enemy, Lord God. That, oh God, as she prays you, as she lifts you up, Lord God, the enemy will scatter in the name of Jesus. I declare victory over her even now in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for Sister Rose, Roshara. Oh, Father God, you know, oh God, that she needs your covering even now. Even where they are having violence, God, I pray for covering over her life, God. I pray for situation that is happening in her life, that God, you'll shield her and shelter her, God. That the enemy, with the enemy's plan will not be able to conquer her, but she will conquer the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, that she'll rise up, oh God. God Almighty with force against the enemy and declare him powerless in the name of Jesus. Let the word of God and the power of God emanate out of her mouth, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the covering of this church even now, for every single person that is in here. I pray for Nasha and all the persons who have traveled to be here this morning. I pray for covering over them, God. I pray for guidance and protection. Father, the woman of God that spoke the word of God. Father, we know that when the words come like this, the enemy want to counter attack and chise everything. But we rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Lord God, covering over Rosetta and her son and her family in the name of Jesus. We bind Satan right now, God. We ask you, God, that she will have more words to speak. Wholesome word, word of encouragement, word of victory, word of warfare, word that God Almighty will bring victory in this church. We look to you and we tell you thanks 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Reverend Forbes, for that. And we're coming down. We're coming down. I'm going to be giving the announcements at this time. So please make a note of these events. The National Sunday School Board will be hosting a special service on May 26, Child Month Worship Service. As you know, May is designated as Child Month. So we're going to be having our youngsters participating and leading in our worship service on May 26. The Frank Brooks Six Aside Football and Quick Five Cricket Competition is scheduled for this Saturday, that's April 27th, at the Sligoville Mini Stadium. Food and refreshment will be on sale, but admission is zero dollars. We're asking that you support the Kencott team because the aim is to take home the trophy. If you're interested, please speak with Sister Nayoka Smiley on that. Canada's National Convention is scheduled for May 3 to the 5th. The theme is The Best is Yet to Come, and this will be broadcasted live on YouTube. The men's department here, Buren Church of God, Kencott, invites all mothers to a special Mother's Day dinner in honor of you, the extraordinary mothers here on Saturday, May 11th, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And it promises to be an evening filled with love, laughter, entertainment, hence the laughter, and delicious cuisine. Mothers, please make an effort to be out on that day. Our men in praise, our national men in praise, our international men in praise event is scheduled for June 22nd. It will be live on YouTube. And the expectation is that we're going to be having our men here from Kencott representing us and representing us well. So make a note of that. Don't forget about it. They need your support. And our annual youth camp is scheduled for July 17th through to the 21st. This year, they, they will be at the South Coast Resort May Day in Manchester, and the cost is $15,000 per person. And on the heels of that is our international convention, which is scheduled for August 2nd through to the 4th. We are going back to the Old Harbor New Testament Church of God in Old Harbor. And the theme is the relentless pursuit of God. But before the convention begins on August 1, we're going to be having a men's and women's conference. So please prepare for that. That's a public holiday. And we're begging, we're beseeching, we're pleading. We really do need your support. Remember as well the convention pledge of $1,200. You can start taking those into Sister Carol Grant as well. We will not refuse it. And we will be having a, an International Family Fund Day on August 5th. And you'll get more details on that. All right, but we are going to be having our very own family fun day on May 23rd, and we're going to Somerset Falls. We're expecting, woo woo, we're expecting every single church member, as long as you're able bodied. And if you're not able bodied, we will still carry you. We want to have a wonderful time. That's May 23rd. The cost in terms of the entrance fee is $1,200. You can take as much food as you want. There's no limit on that. But if you need transportation, let us know from early, please. It's $1,500, and we need to book the transportation. So let us know. You can speak with Sister Sandra Reed, myself, or Sister Carol Grant on that. And the, yes, sir. Yes. So, so let me put a little volume on that for you. So our church will be offsetting some of the cost for transportation. So don't worry that you have to find $1,500 entrance and food. Just get your portion. We will determine what portion it is, sir. Right? And then you just work on your $1,200 and you carry your food. Your bun and cheese, a fried chicken, a jerk chicken, anything, a fish. And we're good to go. Pork can't miss out on that day one day. 
Listen, it's going to be nice. We're not, we're not miss it, you know? it is going to be really good. All right? And the Philip Green Bicoji Scholarship is now open for applications for the academic year 2024 to 2025. So we're looking at current university students. So if you're already there, fine. First year students, current high school students as well, first year high school students, and primary grades four to six. Now the closing date for submission is July 16th. And you see, we have started early so do not miss out we will not be having extensions so do not miss out on that and our weekly activities are as follows training and development is tomorrow please be out we continue in our men's and women's training on Tuesdays, we have Tuesday teachings at 8.30 p.m. On a Wednesday, we have midday prayer starting at 12 noon, ending at 1. And then we have prayer and Bible study starting at 6 p.m. BYF is on a Friday at 7.30 p.m. And as per usual, on a Saturday, we have men's prayer meeting starting at 6 a.m. Women's meeting is every third Saturday at 5 30. On a Sunday, we have prayer starting at 5.30 a.m. And again, we meet back here for worship service starting at 9 a.m. And tonight, remember, we have word and tea at what time? All right, 6.30. Children's church is at 9 a.m. Sunday school is at 12. I don't have any birthday greetings. So it's 6.30 to 8, and I can guarantee you, we're finishing at 8, because there's a certain sister here, she will start counting down and kind of pull on. Yeah, I will not call her name. She's probably standing in front of you today. Who knows? But yes, that person will pull on Reverend Forbes jacket. <laughs> His invisible jacket. But we're about to close. We're so thankful that you took the time out to be with us this morning. Those who are in the assembly and, of course, our friends and family members on YouTube. Please stand as we close off. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks. Let's do that one and greet somebody as you go. Hallelujah. We have come to the end of our service. We want to thank you all for staying on with us to the end. Remember, God's promises are sure. God's promises are true. And he will never break a promise. His promises come with conditions. As long as we keep our end of the bargain, we will be blessed spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, and we will prosper. Thank you again for joining. We're reminding you to stay safe. And we hope to see you the next time that we stream live. My soul is at rest, oh Lord, I give you thanks, oh Lord, I give you thanks, oh Lord, I give you thanks.
give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God 